Let's build a biofeedback guy. Take a look at this. You want to see your device load up at 25%. Then your dialog box will show up in the center, saying your name, showing the uh, device serial number. And then when you close that, when you close that, you'll see the device react. Push the right button. Okay, so we're gonna close that out and watch the device. Okay, so we have the device reacting. And then we look, we're loading up the program. And so once your program is loaded, we're just gonna go and click continue. And we go to password, enter your password, Enter your password, or the default password that comes with the device is 0210. And then click OK. Welcome to the Quantum Zero. And so, next thing we do is go to Demographics and fill in the SOC index. So, these are questions you ask your client and coach the client to improve the SOC index. Um, this is it, this is uh, pretty much just a coaching session here. You can coach as long as you want. Um, of course, the interaction and coaching, setting goals for improvement are very important. So to enter a new client, basically we're going to put the client's name up here in the left. Then we're going to go to... This box down here below the green box. Add new client, basically. And then, basically, we will click here on the top left, or in the left, in the red, add new client. And so, on this one, we want to make sure that the birth date, time and place are filled out. This actually has a map here under uh, birth time and place. And we click the area where the client was born and the time and place. Also, in this area up here, we want to put in any factors that are related to stress in the client's life. If you have a previous patient, you click here, previous patient. The uh, program will ask if the client has made any improvements. And once again, make sure the sock is completely filled out. We'll ask if you want to go into biorhythms. We're gonna go into biorhythms and basically click start here, top left. And then 
the top right button here is the address biorhythm concern. And you'll see that the device will be reacting when you do this. If your device is not reactive, make sure the COM port is configured and your USBs are all good. Okay, so I like to make reports on these, whatever page I go to. I like to make reports and so basically adding, making reports adds information to the software. Uh, I also like to go into um, <clears throat> medical astrology and Chinese astrology and work in that area as well. Um, so next basically we go to calibration. And I like to go to computer risk neutralization first and, and make sure that the computer is not interfering and or the CPU is adjusted accordingly. Show and tune harmonics here. Click to the top left, uh, further adjust software overclock. You'll see the device react as well again as the process happens. There are other buttons here you can press, but I just go through this uh, rather quickly at this point, just to give you an idea. Every time you see that box pop, pop up, your box should be, your device should be reacting to that box. If it isn't, once again, check your COM port configuration and your USBs. Go to test. After the calibration, go to test. Test is the third one down. If you do not see a test icon here at the beginning page, your software has become deactivated. The third one down here is the test icon. And then we go up here to prepare test in the top center. And once again, you'll see that the uh, device had reacted and then you want to go ahead and press test again and then you'll see once again that the device is reacting accordingly as the test goes on and the test normally takes about three minutes <clears throat> 